Do you want to learn a secret on how to teach Pio? Okay, this is Amanda, and I am about to tell you how to teach Pio classes. People have been asking me, how do you do it? Like, you have to count the 32 count phrase, you have to be on the beat, and I just don't get how to teach this. I'm so confused. I'm in my own brain. I can't think about it and teach and, and know what's coming up next. And okay, here's some tips on how to teach with the beat and all that kind of stuff. Okay, first of all, forget about the 32 count phrase. I know, I said that, like forget about being perfect, okay? When you get a, uh, chore if you, once you get the choreography notes, when you get a lesson, when you get the new round, okay? Your notes are gonna be like in a perfect class when you, when you nail it, when you get everything perfectly. So your first few classes are not going to be anything really remotely close to all those 32 counts perfectly. It's not going to be like that. The first few times you teach a Pio lesson, you're going to be focused on just getting through the basic parts of the lesson. Okay, so you're not going to be doing it full force, going crazy, trying to keep up with the 32 counts and making it perfect. You may be off the beat a little bit especially in like sun salutations, for example. You may want to slow them down. You won't necessarily be on a beat. You'll just be doing the sun salutation. So that would be basically in the heat building section. So for instance, which one am I using? I think I'm on um, Pio 34. So for instance, on 34, you've got a heat building section that starts off with a sun salutation and you do it once and it's pretty easy the first part. You can slow down that sun salutation and you go into push-ups. There's just four little push-ups. And I think you go through um, push-ups just you know one time through. If you wanted to do eight push-ups instead, and I'm looking at my notes here, I've got them right here. So I make my own notes, that's another key. Make your own notes, okay? I give them to those people that come to my trainings for the one that we're working on. They may or may not make sense, but it's easy just to relax and let the lesson work for you. So if you need to slow down that sun citation because you have people that are a little bit slower in your class that can't go up full tempo speed, don't worry about it. They'll eventually get there, especially if this is a brand new class for you and brand new class for them. They need the time to figure out what everything means. What's a sun salutation? What are lunges, rear lunges? What are, you know, they just might not know everything that you're talking about. So as you get into your notes and as you figure out what you're doing, then you just go, okay, I just need to simmer down. I'm probably not gonna get the whole thing in there. So I took out like the last section for this, for this, for heat building. I took out the last section. I never even went there for my first, like probably four classes. Yeah. And then in some of my sun salutations, I just let it go a little longer. So I just knew that a few things were gonna be taken out because I just didn't go on the beat. I didn't do the 32 count phrase yada yada it's the same for all the other sections as well so if you're doing doing the lesson and you want to do it justice right don't think about perfection just think about getting through some of the sections and being able to add on later and maybe that means instead of in this one section there's sun salutation variation with a plank and a down dog back back to with a knee pull and then back to down dog after that, there's a chair sit, and you could skip those. Just skip them or do one, just do two. But there's two slow and then four quick. I would say skip it your first time. Or that's how you end, is just doing some chair sits, just doing a basic slow chair and coming up to standing and doing it again until you hear the music run out. It's really not as big of a deal as you do it in your own head because you might be a perfectionist, you may want to have this lesson so good in each section, but make sure you just, you know, lengthen some things out. Don't worry about the beats and make sure you just have fun. Okay. I'll do some more tips soon.